architect at the CBP group, who will give us an example of what we can actually do with the Open API specification. Welcome, Guillaume. Welcome. Hello. Uh, Hello. So you can uh, start to share your screen. Yes. Okay. We see it. If you can start the uh, the slideshow. Oh, I'm not in the right one. Yeah. Okay. okay, everything is okay. So we are listening to you, Stage is Okay, so uh, just a minute. Okay. So my name is Guillaume Janik, and I uh, I work uh, as an IT architect at CP Group. And um, my talk will be about uh, uh, our journey into designing test automation for new document management services API, and uh, how we took advantage of uh, Postman and uh, and uh, Open API to to do it. Uh, so uh, CVP is a subsidiary of a, of a financial group uh, that deals with uh, insurance. Uh, we are located in near Nantes in, in France. Uh, we have over 26 years of experience in loan protection insurance and personal pensions, and we are developing uh, ourselves through, throughout uh, Europe. Our main activities is a commission policy manager so we're dealing with a lot of documents from uh, uh, different uh, insurers um, and different distributors. And we also grant uh, personalized support uh, to, to our partners. Um, we're dealing, um, our operational business rests with um, document processing and we're dealing with uh, a lot of them, uh, nearly 100 millions of documents received uh, a bit more uh, document sent and across uh, 10 different channels. Yeah. We have an IT culture of uh, in-house development and we are transforming uh, from many perspectives uh, from uh, legacy IS uh, 400 mainframe to, uh, to diverse applications, from skill teams to product teams, from uh, on-premise to, to AWS or private cloud and uh, from uh, synchronized uh, and scheduled delivery to continuous delivery, and also from manual testing to test automation. Uh, our system of uh, document management is uh, 20 years old, and we are currently building the new one, so with new API, and migrating the legacy system using the, the stronger pattern. Uh, at the starting point of this big project of refundation of our system, uh, we, we had one belief that uh, the new API testing should be automated and not, no more uh, manually tested. But we have a, a context that uh, our testers aren't computer scientists at CVP. They are not, for most of them, uh, coming from the uh, business uh, background. So either they are code takers or they are. Um, uh, well, case ender that evolved to uh, to testing, and also uh, I, I was understaffed for for technical specification at the starting of the of the project. So my problem was how to make uh, test automation friendly for my my testers and with no specific budget for it. And at this point, uh, the um, the solution I had in mind was uh, was personal. So my question was. Uh, would Postman could do the job. Um, so Postman has a good repetition tool for user-friendly GUI. Uh, I already, already used it for API exploration. I know it can be used for API, API testing. I know it can be automated from CLI with Neumann. I know it's basic usage is free. And also I, I don't have many time for market research. So. Uh, yeah, I, I, I try to, to use Postman for my uh, for my purpose. Uh, from those of you who don't know uh, Postman, uh, well, you can uh, of course explore uh, API to uh, to uh, to integrate them as a developer, but you can also uh, uh, use some features to uh, 
to test API. So you can use a pre-request script to, um, to set up some, uh, some variables. And you can use the test uh, tab of Postman to, to do some, uh, some tests that are executed after the request is, uh, is played. Uh, there's different features for testing, but you can, uh, well, use a TAIA session language to, to test um, some uh, results you're expecting. And you can also use JSON scheme validation to, uh, to as assess your, uh, your data. And when you run the test in Postman, you will have a, a summary of what tests passed and what, uh, what, uh, what uh, tests failed. Uh, problem is uh, the, the development of these tests are not really accessible for non-technicians. And um, at that point of the project, I don't have any JSON scheme of our endpoint, so I can't use the, the second feature. Um, at the beginning of the project, so uh, the tester was struggling because I was trying to uh, get uh, things done by the developers by expressing some idea of what I was expecting. DevTerm was trying to figure out what I was thinking of, and tester was uh, struggling with uh, does the job was correctly done. Uh, at that point, uh, the swagger was regenerated for, from the code so that it was accurate with what has been done, but um, it wasn't accurate to what I was thinking of. So specifications were pretty bad and developers were doing their best. So we decided to change the paradigm and to uh, do the specification directly in OpenAPI uh, so that the swagger will be generated from it. And so that the tester will know what uh, it should be as expecting. So this leads to a, a better formalism for the, the API and so a, a better documentation as uh, uh, developers usually don't, don't like to spend time on it, uh, but I like doing it, so it was okay for us. Um, so the first idea we, uh, we had at that point was to, uh, um, was to uh, uh, now that I have OpenAPI, uh, it was to uh, use it in order to do some uh, automated testing in Postman. So uh, uh, Postman can do a JSON scheme uh, validation. So our first job was to uh, convert OpenAPI into JSON schemes and then inject the JSON scheme into uh, uh, Postman uh, pre-request scripts. So that it could be used in the, in the test script, scripts to, uh, to assess the either the validation of the request, so that uh, if a request is well formed, uh, we shouldn't expect uh, good results in the response, or to also accept as assess that the response was matching the, the JSON scheme of the, of the specification. So at, at this point, we, uh, we have um, the open API that is uh, done uh, in YAML, uh, some Node.js applications to convert the, the OpenAPI into JSON scheme, some manual in, inter, intervention, interventions to inject the JSON scheme into uh, Postman, and then uh, some, uh, some configuration into Postman to define the scenario that uh, should be your test. So it was too interesting because uh, there was some uh, testing uh, automated with the JSON scheme, but there are still a lot of manual operations in, in the process. There's another feature you can use in uh, Postman, which is to, uh, uh, to define iteration data so that you won't, you will be able to um, define uh, scenarios uh, like uh, uh, chaining of requests, and you can define that uh, those scenarios would be uh, run uh, for, for example, five iteration with, for each iteration, different uh, test data. So it is a feature here of uh, iteration data. Uh, Postman takes uh, either a CSV or a JSON uh, as an input to, uh, 
to the iteration data. Uh, second idea was to use uh, Postman iteration data as request data. And therefore, to have a, uh, iteration data that would have this form uh, where the, 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 the key is defined as a path of the API, of the method, uh, author, authentic, authentication, the query bound, body, etc. So uh, it, uh, it allows us to test scenario defined in, in Postman to, um, to uh, have all the request data defined in JSON iteration file uh, and to be able to automatically test uh, some uh, expected data uh, to, uh, to according to the response of the of the request in, uh, in Postman. Um, <clears throat> so at this point, we have uh, uh, still the Open API defining YAML, uh, still an, an application to convert uh, this into JSON scheme. Um, uh, but now the, the iteration data is defined to JSON file, uh, but it's still uh, not sustainable because uh, there's still a lot of query paste in Postman because Postman lacks a template definition. So uh, uh, when I, if you need to use uh, uh, some some um, some API endpoint uh, multiple multiple times into different uh, scenarios, you have to uh, uh, copy paste a lot of uh, of information about this endpoint uh, throughout uh, different uh, item in in Postman. It's, and it's really time consuming and also time consuming if you need to. Uh, to make some minor modification everywhere for the same endpoint. Uh, there are also some limitations with Postman uh, uh, where you're using iteration data. Uh, you can set files in the request bodies from iteration data, which is kind of a bummer in our context because we're dealing with a uh, document management services. So we're dealing with, with, uh, with files and uh, as uh, the Postman has an unpleasant ergonomy when we're dealing with uh, iteration data as uh, uh, we, you have to use the collection runner to do it. You, can't, you can no longer use the, the standard Postman interface to, to, to run tests for this. And there's some limitation with it. So the third idea we, we, we had was to um, build collections from a scenario in JSON. So no longer use Postman to, uh, to uh, define uh, uh, chaining of requests, but uh, define them into JSON files and uh, use um, Postman collection SDK to build collections that would be either imported into Postman or run directly uh, with Newman. So here's an example of what uh, can look like uh, uh, a scenario. Uh, you have name, you have steps, uh, you have a, uh, uh, an, a step that will have a key, path, method, authentication, and uh, some information that will link uh, one step to another. Uh, for example, here I can save the content of uh, this expression in uh, Postman into uh, a variable that could be used later in another step. Like, uh, for example, I use here the, this variable, DMS success token, that was uh, saved from an early uh, step. Uh, the fourth idea is to uh, def therefore run the test from the application, uh, the node application that was converting YAML into JSON uh, now is a um, uh, um, full node application that uh, takes YAML specifications, uh, JavaScripts, JSON for defining the scenario, the uh, common scenario data, the, the different iteration data for a scenario, and its job will be to produce a Postman collection uh, that could be retrieved 
if I need to uh, to uh, import them into uh, Postman to do some debugging and uh, and some uh, test by hand when something is wrong, or I could also directly use Newman uh, as a as a uh, library and not in uh, from CLI to uh, to run the the, the, the tests and therefore get uh, get a report. Um, here on the, on the right side, you can see the, the Newman reporter HTML extra that we are using in the team to uh, to display the results of uh, of our of our tests. And finally, we we uh, integrated it into uh, into the CI and uh, tests are, are run uh, every time there is a delivery uh, and uh, and we are alerted in uh, in Google Chat to uh, when whenever there is a there is a, uh, an error in the in the tests. Um, this test is well adopted by by the team. Uh, there's consistent API, now there's the consistent API and endpoint uh, with a strong documentation like that we are um, doing the specification uh, in open API. Uh, we have also a strong uh, volume of, um, of Postman collections uh, for the tests, but that, that can also be uh, given to, uh, to other teams that are integrating us as integration examples, which is also useful. Um, the developer know immediately when there is some uh, regression uh, uh, from, their, from the work. And uh, tester can now focus on the new scenarios instead of, uh, of manually testing everything that, like they, they used to, to do. Um, and now we can deliver new features and fixes very quickly because we, we, we can uh, uh, run all the tests very, very fastly. Uh, that's, that's all for me. Thank you. Do you have any, any questions? Thank you, Guillaume. That was really interesting to see a real story of a real problem and real solutions and how you iterate to uh, build this solution. Um, so we have time for a few uh, questions. So, so attendees do not hesitate to uh, ask them in the chat window. Um, uh, you, you created some tools to generate Postman collection from open APIs. Uh, do you start it from totally scratch or do you rely on existing library? And do you plan, if you present, do you plan to open source your solution? Um, I, yes, yeah, mainly from scratch, I'm just choosing uh, two li libraries uh, um, uh, apart from the, the utility uh, stuff that I need. Uh, the two main library I'm using is one from converting OpenAPI to JSON scheme, mm -hmm. and the um, Postman Collection SDK to uh, to, to build the collection and to generate them. But uh, that's, that's it. That's it. But that, that's it, but that's still something. And uh, do, you, do, you, do you plan to open source your tool, just at least for, to show it or to others? Uh, not really, but uh, I could. Um, I, I would have to ask my, uh, my organization whether they are open to it, but uh, uh, at least I could uh, give it away discreetly for, for people who ask me for, for it. Yeah. I'm working on that topic for my company too. So uh, uh, I know it's sometimes uh, it's a long road, uh, but I think it's uh, definitely worth it. Even if it's not create the new open source tool, but just at least to show, to, show, to do a showcase of how people can use things. Uh, a question from Marwan Amdi. Uh, why do you choose Postman as a solution? Is there any security confidentiality problems about using it? So well, the first question I think is it, really interesting is why did you choose Postman instead of something else? Oh, just because I, I, I uh, have used it. I know it. Uh, I, have, uh, I have the image of a, of a simple tool that could be used by uh, 
people that uh, don't have a strong background in uh, computer science. So uh, that was uh, the, the main deal. Yeah, yeah, that's a, a good, good answer. And indeed, uh, having a tool that is user friendly for non developers. Uh, regarding security, maybe how do you you can uh, rephrase it? How do you manage uh, API credentials uh, when you do your testing? Mm. How do you manage credentials and running Postman with Human and? Uh, the, uh, the credentials are not uh, well secured. <laughs> <laughs> there is yeah, no the, the, the application and they are exported with the uh, with the collection so uh, yeah not really secure uh, yeah but it's I, only internal use so. yeah but i think that's uh for, for people who are not uh used to postman uh, maybe people can take advantage of environments and uh, because you can export uh, variables and then use them in Postman. So and I, I think that you should be able to use them uh, in, uh, in Human too. Um, what else we get, can we say about that? Uh, how, for how long time have you been working on that since the very beginning and having this last solution, which is seems to working well for you? Uh, I started the project uh, of testing, um, I'd say a year ago. Yeah. Yeah. So, a year ago. yeah, 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 yeah. It's interesting to know that because uh, we're always talking about projects who are going very quickly because we are working for a startup and so on, and working for more normal companies, Google ones. Uh, it's an interesting. Uh, aspect to know that yes we can create things and it's normal to uh, see that uh, things take time um what are your 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 future plans for your solution do you have ideas about how to improve it or add new features uh yeah it's it's uh it's it's uh well it's evolving slowly uh each uh, each month uh whenever i have some free time uh, I try to uh, to uh, to enhance it, so that's what I did last last uh, last, last holidays. <laughs> so uh, I add some um, some some features as I have new needs for our test project for our project. I mean, so uh, for example, I had to uh, uh, in our project we are uh, refounding our document management services, and we have to. Uh, we first did the first version that was a, a facade on the, on the legacy system. And now we're building the second version that uh, uh, more and more taking features from the, uh, the legacy system. So I had to deal with uh, the difference that could exist between the first version and the second version. And so I had to, uh, to um, well, have different test scenarios depending on the version I want to test. So I had, for example, a tag feature to uh, to be able to tag this one is uh, for the first version. This one is for the second one, so that they they don't mix up in, uh, in okay. test reports. So it's about managing testing versions between different versions of your API, obviously new ones. And um, do you use the Open API specification for other things than testings? You did you build other toolings around that? No, I only test. I only use it for the Swagger generation and for the the JSON scheme uh, validation. Okay, and uh, I've seen that you have switched from uh, Open API generated Open API specification from code to uh, a more design first approach. And what kind of tools are you actually using to? write or generate your open API specification? Oh, to write it, I use a plugin in uh, IntelliJ to, uh, okay. to write them, yeah. You, at, at first, I was using the Swagger UI. Yeah. But, um, well, YAML is uh, very big now, so it, it was, it was, uh, it was yeah. too, too slow. Yeah. Okay. 
Thank you very much, Guillaume. Uh, it was uh, really great to have you uh, sharing your story about how to use the Open API specification in the real world. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much. I hope that everyone enjoy this first part of the afternoon. Uh, we have a break.